it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Are you familiar with Asperger's Syndrome? Are you aware that some people have Asperger's Syndrome? Maybe someone you know, possibly a friend, might have Asperger's. Well, in this video, I will be discussing the signs that tell you that someone has Asperger's. If you don't know what Asperger's is, it is a form of high functioning autism. I actually have Asperger's myself, and because of it, some things are harder for me than they are for other people. I am making this video so that more people will be understanding and aware of Asperger's Syndrome, and maybe autism in general. Let's get into the video. The first sign of someone having Asperger's is that person not looking you in the eye when they're talking to you. People with Asperger's have trouble looking people in the eye because they naturally find eyes to be scary to look at. Basically, people with Asperger's have a fear of looking people in the eye. I struggle with eye contact myself, but I still look towards the other person when talking to them. Another sign of someone having Asperger's is that person not saying hello to you when they see you and not letting you know when they like something you're wearing or when they think you or something about you looks nice. Usually people with Asperger's are painfully shy. So shy that it hurts to say hello to people and give them compliments. I'm not painfully shy, but I am very shy. I do say hello to people, but I'm never the first one to say hello. I never say hello to anyone unless they say hello to me first. I struggle with giving others compliments on individual things, such as telling someone that I love their shoes, or that their hair looks nice, or something like that. But I'm able to give people compliments on full things, such as telling them that I love their outfit, their full outfit, telling them that they look nice, telling them that they're pretty or handsome, and things like that. Another sign of someone having Asperger's is that person always walking on their tiptoes. Some people with Asperger's find it uncomfortable to walk on their heels because of sensory issues that they might have. I don't walk on my tiptoes, but I've seen some people with Asperger's do it. Another sign that someone has Asperger's is that person getting upset when something changes. Most people with Asperger's want to follow a daily routine. They usually want to do the same exact things in the same exact order every single day. If something different happens one day, they'll get upset. I don't automatically get upset when there happens to be a change in my daily routine some days, but I do hate when things change. For example, I hate when my family plans to go to a certain restaurant, but later on decides to go to a different restaurant. Another example is, when I was in elementary school, I hated when there was a substitute teacher instead of my regular teacher on some days. Another sign that someone has Asperger's is that person having a meltdown when they get upset or when something bothers them. If you don't know what a meltdown is, is when someone with Asperger's or autism starts freaking out, screaming, and crying because something is bothering them or they're upset. Things such as noise, lighting, or changes in routine trigger meltdowns. Although noise and lighting don't really bother me anymore, I still have a meltdown whenever I feel that something is not right. However, I used to be bothered by many things. For example, when I was little, my older sister, who's a singer, would sing and it would really bother me. Her singing always triggered my meltdowns when I was little. I also found noisy situations to be bothersome and I would have a meltdown when people were clapping or something like that. Another sign that someone has Asperger's is that person getting upset when they are in a noisy situation 
when something is bothering them, such as lighting, or when something changes. They'll usually have a meltdown in those situations. I always found the school cafeteria and the mall to be noisy. So I would have a meltdown in those situations. Another sign that someone has Asperger's is that person doing something wrong, but not realizing they're doing something wrong. Most people with Asperger's don't think they're doing anything wrong. The reason for this is because people with Asperger's are normally self-centered and they believe that the world revolves around them when it really doesn't. Even though I have Asperger's, I know right from wrong. However, when I would do something wrong when I was younger, I would not realize I was doing something wrong and get confused on why I was in trouble or why I was being punished. The next sign that someone has Asperger's is that person being obsessed with one thing. What I mean is they'll be talking about one thing nonstop. They'll also be thinking about that one thing all the time. For example, I am absolutely obsessed with my dog Dugan and I'm always thinking about him. As Dugan is very old, I always talk about how scared I am that he'll die. I also had an obsession with The Sims when I was younger, and I would play it all day, every day. When I wasn't playing it, I would talk about it nonstop. I would always talk about what my Sims did in the game, such as one of my Sims getting pregnant, or one of my Sims growing up or something like that. That game was isolating me from the real world and school. Now these last two signs of someone having Asperger's are more positive than the others. People with Asperger's are usually very smart, like nerd smart. They are so smart that they can get straight A's in school. I am always told how smart I am and I am always praised by my teachers and other people for being smart. Most people with Asperger's also have an amazing memory. They have the ability to remember almost everything, even the smallest things that happened years ago. I have always had a good memory, a way better memory than most people I know, and I remember everything, even the smallest things, from a really, really long time ago. However, having a good memory can be a bad thing too, because people with a good memory also still hold grudges over bad things that happened a long time ago. For example, I still hold a grudge over every single punishment I have gotten in the past. That's it for this video. I hope this video helps you understand people with Asperger's better. Having Asperger's Nobody really understands me unless they have Asperger's too. So I hope you found this video to be useful. Also, go check out Alex's Asperger vlogs on YouTube. Alex has a ton of videos about Asperger's and how she deals with it. She also loves animation. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.